Hey guys, Michael Hicks here with Mike Does. I'm out here at this beautiful shipping container home just outside of Lynchburg, Virginia. Beautiful, beautiful home. Love the details. I'm gonna turn around here and give you guys a walkthrough, show you some of the things that I like about this place. It's available on Airbnb. I'm up here for a uh, real estate seminar, deal maker, uh, Jim Ingersoll's event. Heading over to Richmond tomorrow morning early, but you know, when there's a shipping container home this close, about two hours, I had to kind of drive a little out of the way and come stay. We're in here, let's get this thing started. Come up to the door here. This, this in the bottom here is where the uh, container doors were. Those were removed. I love the accent wall here. Love the black and orange. It's one of my favorite color combinations. Nice little front porch covered with the overhang from the upstairs containers. Love how they did that. Love these chairs too. Come into an open foyer. Love how they left the containers exposed on the inside too. So much of that is lost, uh, especially with a single container build. You either gotta cover the inside or cover the outside to get your insulation. So with a double container, it allows some of that con container to be exposed to the, to the inside and kind of get a treat there and see that industrial look. I love that. We got all bath here, half bath. And come on down, I love this accent wall too. I like the grays and the dark colors, especially when you mix in the oranges with it. But love this kitchen, the black cabinets, granite tops, full size stove and microwave, full size refrigerator. Again, you got the uh, exposed container up on the ceiling there. Then we'll come back here, we've got dining room, and then living area. So you notice the uh, the living room ceiling's covered, and that's because the uh, containers are cantilevered to the front. Looks to be six to eight feet, so that leaves a void on the top, uh, which they use in this space to create a deck space. So there's a, a deck up on top on the balcony for the back bedroom, really cool spot. Kitchen's open to the living room. Got a little bar top there. Love how they did that. And then they've got their patio space back here. Plenty of room to sit and hang out. Let's go upstairs and check that out. So we had, they had to cut into the container to get these stairs in, but. Love the iron railing too. So much of the time it's hard to transition to laminate flooring when you have a, a stairwell like this, but I love how they use the, uh, the stainless, or the, scratch that. I love how they use the black angle iron to make those caps and then tie it to the rail really looks, it looks great. Got the front bedroom here. Everything you could need, towels. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom. Door there goes into a closet that goes into this back bedroom. Plenty of room, I guess this is 16 by 12, good size bedroom. Each bedroom has its own heat and air unit. That's nice. And then we've got this patio back here. Cool. 
and this will be the doors on the opposite ends of the top containers so good way to uh, utilize that those take those doors off and uh, frame that wall in easier to put windows and doors in those uh, spots so makes for a better uh, more cost-effective cut and then love how they uh, did the accents and again with the orange and black so pretty cool spot you guys had to come up here and check it out next time you're in Virginia let me know what you guys think of this container see anything I should build what's your thoughts make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below see you guys next week